Telling myself I can't stop, you know. Right. And then the good, the best part about it is I got my, my team behind me, yeah. and um, we all have the same, uh, we we all have the same mindset, you know. We're, we're not done with this. I mean, we can't stop until we're done with it. You know? So, some uh, few more years left and uh, doing this, and uh, we're trying to make the best of it. So, even though I made money, I still obviously want to make more, and uh, I still want to, you know, continue to build my fan base, continue to put on uh, memorable fights. Mm -hmm. And, uh, be, and, and and do what you guys you know want me to do, which is which is fight and, and, and be great. And that's refreshing too, because I mentioned before, there's a lot of uh, fighters out there that have made good money, and they earn and fighters earn every dollar they make. Yes, you sir. get punched in the we face, but every I yeah. never doubt that. We all do. Yeah. But once fighters make a little bit of money, sometimes yeah. they don't look maybe to work fight once a year. I, you know, or I think easier, you know? really just to 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 sum it up, I mean, I'm not in the business of slowing down. Once you slow down, that's when you know uh, things start to happen. Mm -hmm. you, Bad things start happening. The wrong things start happening. Mm -hmm. You know. So as long as I continue on the path that I've been on, I keep climbing. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, man, uh, you, you guys consider me to be one of the, the top fighters. I still consider myself to be climbing. You know. So that's that's how I attack this right now. You're talking about pushing. Uh, you're a very you're a pressure pressure fighter. One of the best pressure fighters in the game. You fight another pressure fighter. He's gonna put pressure on you. Now a pressure fighter very doesn't rarely get moved backwards. Do you recall any previous fights that you've had where you fought another pressure fighter that was able to back you up? No, that you were able to overcome? No one, no one has ever been. Right. That I can remember has ever been able to back me up. I've had guys that were aggressive that I had to move against. Mm -hmm. You know, create the space and, and box and be, that you know, slick and, you slick and savvy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see a lot of that against Adrian Granados. We know he's at some point going <laughs> to try to push forward and, and fight me uh, to, the, to the end of the bell. And, uh, that's when the foot movement will come into play and the quickness and the agility and uh, we should be all right. Being that you're one of these guys that's really fight more than once a year, doing it again, uh, certified as a top fighter and making a good money. What do you think it take for guys like you to get those big fights? I know the winner of this is the mandatory Keith Thurman. Gus here? Gus here? I mean, what do you think it's going to take for these guys to bring with you? Gus here? Gus, Gus. Gus. I'm easily pleased, you know, my dad handles the business and everything else, make sure we, everything is done the right way. Uh, but you know, you, I tell them all the time. I say, you just tell me who I am. Those guys just have to you know, uh, adopt that mindset. He's been very adamant about wanting Danny Garcia for you. Uh, and we actually thought we might have got that this year. Yeah, no, obviously, so we're, we're getting Granado. Uh, next year, that fight could come to fruition on that side as well with, with Danny Garcia's team? I hope so. Uh, that's a big fight. It's a great fight but for the fight fans, for the team, and even his team. Uh, I don't think they see it that way right now. But Hopefully, uh, in the near future, they do. Was there actual talk about making that fight before this Granada's fight? Because I know, I know the talk of it being an eliminator was brought up. All I knew was there was talk of an eliminator, and that was said by the WBC. After mm -hmm. we saw that being stated by the WBC, we said that's the fight that we need. And uh, that was what we did. We weren't quiet about it. We weren't, mm -hmm. you know, behind the scenes about that. We were straight up and down about fighting Danny Garcia, and it just didn't happen. Maybe talking about other welterweights that you could fight out there. Another fighter, I don't know how friendly you are with him, but another fighter that's in the PBC universe right now is Jesse Vargas out of Las Vegas like yourself. Is that maybe somebody that you have a relationship with or you consider fighting in the future? Because I'd like to see that fight. I like I like, uh, Jesse. I like Jesse. I like Jesse. I see Jesse from time to time. We go to a lot of the same events back home, and we've even hung out together. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoy uh, uh, his, his, uh, his uh, uh, being around uh, Jesse. I think he's an awesome guy. And, Awesome boxer as well. Uh, that particular fight, if it gets made, it gets made. Uh, and I want to push it forward like I am, keep coming. Right, sure. And even then, you sure. Yeah, but you don't know they're going to pick up that phone, so you don't get exactly. Yeah. I mean, you're not a fighter that fighters want to fight. You're a pressure fighter. You, you make them look bad a lot of the time. 
So maybe you're not going to be able to get one of those guys. So that's why I threw out maybe some like a Jesse Vargas is a fight that would be made, which would be a great action fight. For me, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. Yep. Uh, that that is that's me. Right. Uh, business is something else. Again, I don't really handle the business, but me, Danny, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. And you, you think you maybe listen that fight against Keith could have went either way, right? I mean, I know he he won barely, but you could have very easily won that decision. Do you got extra tools this time if you were to fight Keith again to get that W? Ah, same tools, they just gotta be a little bit better, I guess. A little sharper. Sean, I know you don't want to speak for other fighters, but... Never want to speak for other fighters. Of course not, but, but when it comes to actually making these fights, do you feel like certain fighters actually don't... I mean, I know you gotta get the money right and this, that, and the other, but do, do, do you have a sense that certain fighters don't actually want to fight you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not gonna say, you know, those fighters are X through Z, but... You know, A through Z, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, there are a few fighters out there that, you know, if they could, they fight someone else. So obviously, I'm not getting the fights I want with the guys I, I want. So. Do, you, do you say that based off of just opinion, or do you feel like there's there's things within negotiations where you have I'm, I'm, I'm saying based off of opinion, I would say right now, but that remains to be seen. Sorry, fellas, I'm going to shut it down. I got to get them back.